Welcome back to this Football Manager 2019 Tactics Experiment Series. This is the ninth video of the series. You can watch the other eight via the playlist link in the description below or head over to my channel. And whilst you're there, maybe hit that subscribe button for more Football Manager 2019 content. So this video is going to be focusing on the Catanaccio. I'm not sure if I've fully pronounced that correctly, but it's an Italian type defensive system. All about building on a, a you know a solid base essentially. So as you can see, the mentality is defensive. Whilst in possession, you've got a direct style of passing. You're playing for the set pieces. You're being disciplined. It's a very low tempo. Whilst you're in transition, you're all about regrouping and countering and slowing the pace down. And then out of position, you're defending very very narrow, uh, having a, a deep defensive line, not really pressurizing the players, um, engaging with the players. In your own half of the pitch really so it's a very defensive tactics so it might not be the most exciting tactic to watch but we're going to give it a go we're going to see what this preset tactic is all about on fm19 with stuttgart against dortmund as we've been playing in all the previous videos as well as explained in the last video i did record all of this footage at the sports interactive headquarters on an alpha version of the game so i'm just sort of doing some post commentary over the top what i recorded so this is the suggested tactic that's what i went with uh, three at the back wing backs three in the middle and two up front so yeah it's quite an italian looking tactic and just like with all the other tactical experiment videos i have maximize the tactical familiarity for this Stuttgart team so they can be fully used to this tactic heading into the first game of the season against Dortmund. I've let my assistant take control. Basically, I'm not going to really do any tweaks. I'm going to be making substitutions when required and that's about it. And we're just going to let the game play out with this tactic. We won't change to an attacking mentality if we go 1-0 down. It could be quite boring, but we're just testing the tactic. That's what this series is all about, testing these preset FM19 tactical styles. So just like in my previous eight videos, we're watching it in 2D, extended highlights, means we can watch as much as possible of this style of play. Uh, this was the first chance of the game. It wasn't actually a half chance, but Witzel did well to head it and we managed to clear it off the line. Uh, but Dortmund pushing forwards. We're going to be defending pretty much for the entirety of this game. Remember, I'm not tweaking anything. I'll just make subs when required. Other than that, we're going to leave it as it is. I suppose this tactic in theory should be good if you're a weak team taking on a, a really strong team. As Witzel almost opened the scoring there. They're dominating the, the game at this stage. But we managed to, to get rid of it. Up to Gomez here who brought it clear and now we're looking to counter but at our slow at our own pace you know we're not we're not going to rush around trying to get a goal you can see Dortmund uh, spreading their defenders out to play short balls to move up the pitch we've got all our players back we're not putting pressure on that back line so it enables them to play up the pitch quite easily but because of our solid defensive line it's going to be tough for their attackers to get through in theory so like I said, if you're, if you're managing a weak team in a division, you're taking on a top team, this might be a good tactic, tactic to have in reserve just to pull out the bag and try and prevent the opposition from getting too many chances. But then again, we've seen that with quite a few tactics. Of course, these presets are very stable. I think, was it wing play, route one, those two weren't quite so stable. They did create a few more opportunities at either end of the pitch. Uh, strangely enough because uh, I mean route one was actually quite defensive but there was goals in that match whereas this one the direct counter one very few chances we, we've seen quite a few highlights at this point from Dortmund but no clear or half chances but they're, they're looking to good at out wide remember we're, we're defending narrowly so it means that they can get their wingers into play and knock the ball into the box but with three centre backs we should be hitting everything headering everything away or thumping everything away when they cross it in so hopefully this tactic will frustrate teams and they won't be able to create so many opportunities and they'll go for long range shots because they're a little bit frustrated but zero shots to us so far and 13 minutes in not looking particularly good for us going forwards uh, Witzel had an effort there. They still haven't created any clear or half chances. He had to have a shot from the edge of the box there. Couldn't find anyone else in space. Corner crossed in. It was knocked away. Pavard after it. And this is an opportunity to counter through the Frenchman. Look at him go down the wing. But unfortunately, the, uh, the highlight fizzled up. But we did win a throw in. And it's our first time really in the attacking third of the pitch. And Gomez should have done better there. That was the first clear cut chance of the game. 
direct style of play from us and it almost came off. If he'd put it away, then that would have been a great example of what this tactic is all about. I mean, our one, sh one shot and it was a clear cut chance. But here we are on the attack again, actually playing some nice football, passing it around. It was out wide to our full back. He put it, a it wasn't a great ball, it was caught by the keeper. We've actually had more possession than Dortmund. Really odd considering the circumstances, but this tactic doesn't necessarily. It's not. We do. Do we do have possession with this tactic? But it's just quite boring. Probably in our own half most of the time, which is what we haven't really seen so far because it doesn't really show that. If we watched the whole ninety minutes, then I guess it would show us just passing it around at the back a bit and not really going anywhere. Corner two, Dortmund. They have moved up to fifty-two percent possession. They almost took the lead there with Witzel. He gets so involved. He's a great player, I must say. He scored quite a few goals in this series so far. Uh, that was a long old punt. Now Castro picked it up, drove into uh, the final third of the pitch, and then we just started to pass it around here, as you can see. Found Gonzalez, Gomez with a long-range effort, and we've won the corner. Now playing for set pieces, I suppose we're going for those shots that we know may take a deflection and win a corner. That's that new play for, uh, for set pieces instruction on FM19 coming to the fore. And that was a chance by Stu, but just, it was just a bit too high for him, I think. Can't really tell from 3D, but I assume it's just slightly too high for him. It almost came off. Uh, Dortmund looking to break here, but once again, we get back and defend brilliantly. I, I quite like this tactic, strangely. It might not be the most exciting thing in the world, but I, there is something enjoyable about good defending. This is an enjoyable defensive system that... It's created a clear-cut chance for us as well. The only clear-cut chance of the game. They've not created anything at this point. And look at us. We're passing around quite well. Not really going anywhere, though. That's that's the problem. They do seem to be winning quite a few corners, Dortmund. But we're defending them well at this moment in time. But Delaney had a shot there. That was the first half chance for Dortmund. And we have finally conceded an opportunity that they, sh they could have scored from. Lots of highlights with this tactic, though. I didn't think there would be many. I thought it'd be so solid we wouldn't see many ta many highlights. Remember, we've got an extended, and there's only been two chances created, but the game's obviously creating a few highlights for us. That was a brilliantly worked goal, but unfortunately it was offside. Uh, but it was nicely worked from our front players. So it fizzled out for the rest of the half, and it finished 0-0 at half time, as you can see there. 50-50 possession. One half chance for them. One clear-cut chance for us. If you look at this, we've lost possession on the right side of the pitch in our own third a bit too much. And we're struggling for possession in the op opposition's half. No surprise about that second point, really. Kind of surprised we're giving away the ball in our own third, though. Second half, we'll find out if there was an improvement. They had 10 shots to our two. By improvement, I mean, we've not played badly, actually. Not at all. We've been, obviously very clinical with our chances created one one well, two shots one of which was a clear-cut chance we should be one nil up really if you think about it uh, but start of the second half good start from us Matthew down the right putting a decent ball in but it was knocked away Gomez and Gonzalez not getting into the cor correct positions there and then uh, Dortmund breaking clear here at pace that's what they do Royce great ball out wide to Pulisic but look at our defenders all getting back and Gomez as well. Is that Gomez? I think it's Gomez. Yep, Gomez getting back to help as well. But chance for Royce, really unlucky, uh, hitting the woodwork, and somehow we managed to hold on to it. There wasn't a half or clear-cut chance there, though. That's the most important thing. Try and reduce those half and clear-cut chances as much as possible. It means you're going to concede less goals, of course. Dortmund came for coming forward again. They're good defending by Matthew, knocking it clear, but... We're not able to hold on to the ball for long enough. And then Royce cutting into Delaney. Delaney, great ball to Pisek. We're having to force them wide, of course. They're causing problems from the wings. <laughs> They're closing down from Pulisic. Uh, Pisek on the ball again. Witzel to Delaney. And uh, then they're just starting to, to control the game in the final third. Trying to cause us problems. Trying to make us panic. Pavard didn't panic. But then they hit the crossbar. But still, once again, no more chances created. That You know, you can score goals from non-half and clear-cut chances, of course. But if we reduce those half and clear-cut chances, we're likely to keep clean sheets. Anyway, we, we broke forwards here with our left wing back. Great ball in and Gonzalez. 
with another opportunity. It wasn't a half or clear cut chance. He did very well with that opportunity to win a corner, but we don't get to see the corner, unfortunately. Decided to bring uh, uh, Gomez off at this point because he was quite tired, not playing particularly well. Overall, though, I, I'm quite happy with this tactic. I know there's no goals at this point with half an hour to go, but this is what this tactic was going to be about. It's working well in its vanilla format, in its just preset thing that Sports Interactive put together. That's kind of pleasing. So if you're new to the game and you, just, you may be struggling, you're conceding loads of goals, stick this on and you might be okay. Uh, but obviously at this point there's still 23 minutes to go. We'll see what happens in the last... 20 or so minutes and they're probably going to push forward and attack of course at this point trying to get them frustrated at the fact that they can't break down this very solid tactic we've seen Dortmund have a lot of the ball but strangely 52 percent possession really not that high they have completed more more of their passes than us 90 percent to our 81 percent and then another chance. That's only the second half chance for Dortmund. But look at all those men behind the ball. They're blocking the opportunity. And it went for a corner. Dortmund lots of corners, but we headed it clear. And Donis, the substitute, looking to break, but instead just smashes it down the line, plays it safe into Rose Ed. So can we hang on then? We'll find out. Here's Donis, the substitute. Brought on um, the other strikers at Oscan. So we made changes to the front two. Gentner, I've been impressed with him in these videos. I've, I've enjoyed this Stuttgart too. I've played the same match eight times. This is the ninth time, of course. We've got one more to go. Park the bus tactic. I'm looking forward to that in a strange way. And, and look, we took the lead. We took the lead. We're clinical with our opportunities. Only five shots in this game. Two clear-cut chances. We managed to stick one of them away. And the substitute got the goal. And wow. This has been effective. We've lost a couple of games with these preset tactics. We might have an opportunity to actually win with one of these defensive tactics. And we then knocked it clear. Look at this. Oskan's through. Oskan round the back and just fired it wide. He had defenders catching up with him. But another half chance. We've created more chances than Dortmund. Two clear to their zero. One half chance to their two half chances. Phenomenal stuff. This is great. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this tactic. Unless you really hate you know, really ultra defensive styles of play and it annoys you. But it's not been that bad to watch. I don't think so anyway. Two minutes to go. We should be winning this, even if we can see the goal now. But Sosa intercepted there brilliantly. Oscan now on the ball. I mean, they're going to be pushing forwards. This is the opportunity for us to get more goals, of course, because they're attacking. We're on a defensive tactic. Maybe on the counter attack, we can find some space and exploit that. Three minutes left of injury time at this point. And they're desperate. They're desperate for goals. And we're frustrating them, winning the ball back, hitting them up to our fresh-legged strikers to cause carnage. What am I talking about? Why did I think we'd scored two? We'd obviously only scored one goal. <laughs> I'm not sure what I was talking about there. I think it was the Ozcan chance I thought was a goal for some reason. I misremembered. It was only 1-0. So, yeah, we're, we're holding on for this 1-0 win. Pisek, round the back, headed away. And, yeah, looking to to just fizzle this game out now, waste time. There's just over one minute of injury time, but Dortmund coming forwards, throwing everyone forwards, looking for the equaliser. Uh, Royce causing problems. We're forcing them wide with our narrow defensive line, of course, and winning it back brilliantly once again. But the problem with this tactic is they always come again. However, 50-50 possession now. Amazing, really, considering the, the highlights that we've seen. It just doesn't look like we've had any of the ball. But behind the scenes, we must have been passing it around at the back and uh, just holding on to it and winding the game down, really. Look at this, 30 seconds to go. So he's still pushing forwards. Went for a long sort of punt, trying to, I assume, waste time or possibly knock it long for our strikers. I'm not really sure. There we go. We get the 1-0 win. There... <laughs> That what was great. I there was just that weird enjoyment to that game. It finishes boring one nil on paper, but I enjoyed watching that. And interestingly, we actually attempted more passes than Dortmund. We just didn't give them any space to pass it. Really, they were knocking out wide and having to put crosses in, and we were just heading it away. Look, we won 38 of our 50 headers. 76% of our headers won to their 45%. 
So loads of crosses coming into the box. Our defender's obviously much better in the air, heading it away brilliantly. We've got a much higher average rating, maybe because we won the game. But yeah... This was great. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. You're going to give this a go if you have when you've watched this video, if, if you're watching this at a later date. And then let me know your thoughts on uh, on the tactic as well and if you've had any success with it or if you've altered it slightly to have even more success with it. But that's it. We've got one more video to, video to go. Hope you're looking forward to that. Until next time, enjoy Football Manager. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.